सदाशिव सरंभां शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा सुखम नित्यम स्वप्रकाशम व्यापकम नाम अधिष्ठान बुद्ध्यबोध्यम बुद्धिर्दृग्यु निर्मल अपारम सर्वेदेद्यम प्रत्यक् तदेवाह न मोन्दी मे निश्चिता विशु ए हैप्पी युगादि शुभकृत नाम संवत्सर न्यू इयर टुडे माय प्रेयर्स एंड बेस्ट विशेस फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर दिस शुभकृत नाम संवत्सर नाउ the page number 123 topic 218 second paragraph first line ghatadi vishayakarant karana vrutyarudham chaitanyam प्रमेती चोच्यते प्रमाया साधन इंद्रियम प्रमाणमिति कथ्यते अत्रेदम ज्ञेय विषयाकार वृत्चारूढ़चैतन्यम प्रमेति कीर्त्यते निश्चलदास has entered the topic of prama or the valid knowledge how the valid knowledge take place we saw now he is bringing that topic with regard to atma gnana अहम ब्रह्मास्मी आई एम ब्रह्म नॉलेज ईज नोन एज सेल्फ नॉलेज दट ईज द मेन पर्पस ऑफ स्टडिंग द स्क्रिप्चर्स अहम ब्रह्मास्मी ज्ञान इज आलो ए वृत्ति ज्ञान ए रईट नॉलेज or a valid knowledge a valid knowledge alone is called prama aham brahmasmi gnanam is a prama roopa gnanam how this aham brahmasmi gnanam take place for that he introduced pramatra chaitanyam प्रमाणचैतन्यम प्रमाचैतन्यम एंड प्रमेय चैतन्यम फोर फोल्ड कॉन्शियसनेसेस एन इवॉल्वड सब्जेक्ट बट एवरी वेदांतिक स्टूडेंट हैज टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वन डे आर अदर नो चॉइस नो एक्सेप्शन if a student of vedanta wants that aham brahmasmi gnanam this topic is inevitable if you understand first time it is fine if you don't understand second time you can listen if not even second time third time 
how many times it takes doesn't matter but one day or other you have to assimilate no one can escape from this teaching of akhandakara vritti aham brahmasmi jnana therefore if you listen attentively you can grasp and aside point i would like to share when our prime minister was talking to students the students were asking one student asked our prime minister how we can enjoy these online classes how we can get the benefit of this online classes offline classes only we will get the knowledge more online classes uh, people take it as granted like that the student uh, felt and um, expressed his um, view in front of our prime minister just a few days ago then our prime minister said very interesting answer just i would like to share it is relevant to all of us also he said the class is either direct class or offline class or indirectly online class is not the question even if you are sitting in the class directly in front of the teacher suppose your mind is not present in the class it is as good as online class even offline means you if you are sitting in the class directly in front of the teacher suppose your mind is not attentive if your mind moves here and there what is the point of that offline class direct class it won't give any benefit at the same time if you take online class if you are attentive and you are listening to that online class with the full presence of mind it is very very useful therefore the class is useful only offline or online is not the question whether your mind is present in the class or not is the question i am not seeing all of you how you are listening how you are getting benefit how you are focusing without any distraction it is left to you it is left to you it is only online swamini is not seeing suppose any student thinks who is the loser student alone is the loser so sincere student is one who considers the online class is also like offline class and i am listening to my teacher with attention if a student listen the same benefit it gives there is no doubt therefore presence of mind is very important in the class therefore i also totally 100% agree with our prime minister's answer therefore all of you also take that don't disappoint if you don't have direct class doesn't matter but if you are very very sincere attentive in listening this online class it gives full benefit therefore this is the aside point i would like to share i was really very much impressed by our prime minister's answer i hope you all also agree with me now let us come to the topic here the heading we saw in the last class pramatradi chaturvidha chaitanya swarupam pramata adipadat pramana prameya and uh, pramanam 
or Chaturvidha, four types of fourfold Chaitanyam, their nature, Swarupam, that he is explaining. So, Yatha Antakarana, Antakaranam Abhasa Sahitam Eva Aste. When the Antakaranam is having the Chidabhasa, first para, I am revising. Tatha Tadvritti Rupa. Abhasa Sahita Eva Jayate Vritti Rupa that means thought. So any object when you look at it, first he takes an example, then only he goes to Dashtanta. Ghata example he has taken. Pramana Chaitanyam means what? Abhasa Sahita Vritti Vishta Chaitanyam Pramana Chaitanyam. So, first Pramana Chaitanyam he has mentioned. Pramanam means here Vishishta Chaitanyam, Vritti Vishishta Chaitanyam, enclosed consciousness in the Antakarana Vritti. That consciousness enclosed in the mind, mental thought that is called Pramana Chaitanyam. How it functions? Then what is Brahma Chaitanyam? Of these four, first one is Pramana Chaitanyam. The second one he said, what is Brahma? What is Brahma Chaitanyam? Ghatadi Vishaya Akara Antakarana Vritti Arudha Chaitanyam. So once that Vritti takes place in the mind, Antakaranam, what vritti here? Ghata vritti. Let us take the example of ghata. He has mentioned ghata. Adipadat, any object you can take. That akara. Ghata akara. The shape of the pot. Ghata akara. Antakarana vritti. That vritti, the thought, pot thought. That uh, envelopes the pot, pot thought, akara it gets. That means the thought, the Chaitanyam along with the thought, Vritti Visishta Chaitanyam. That Chaitanyam enclosed in the thought just pervades and envelopes the pot. Our word means envelopes, mount, as though mounted Chaitanyam. That is called Prama. Prama iti yatharta jnana miti cha ucchate. The moment your thought envelopes the pot, you get what knowledge? Pot knowledge. Pot knowledge is Atharta Jnana. Don't extend this. There is no pot. Swamini, you only said there is only clay. Now how can you say the pot? Don't extend there. Okay. Now here, Vyavaharika Drishtya, there is a pot. How you have got pot knowledge? Because Pramana Chaitanyam pervades that pot and it gets the shape of the ghata akara, then you get the pot knowledge. That pot knowledge is called Prama. There is also Chaitanyam, Prama Chaitanyam. Pramayaha sadhanam indriyam pramanamiti cha kathyate. Pramayaha sadhanam. What is the means for knowledge? Pramanam. So, Pramana Janya Prama. What is the definition of Prama? The, the definition of Prama, valid knowledge is that which is born out of a Pramanam. Pramana Janya Prama. A valid knowledge that which is born out of or generated by that Pramanam is called Prama. That's what he says. Pramayaha sadhanam means indriyam. Antakaranam indriyam. Pramanamiti. Here antakaranam means vritti. That vritti has arisen in the mind. Pramanamiti kathyate. Atra idam gneyam. That is called gneyam. Object. You come to know Vishayakara Vritya Rudha Chaitanyam Pramayiti Kirtyate. So that knowledge 
बिकॉज प्रमाण जन्य प्रमा दैट इज कॉल्ड प्रमा वृत्ति आरूढ़ चैतन्य दट कॉन्शियसनेस विच हैज माउंटेड अपॉन द पॉट थ्रू द वृत्ति then it has taken vishaya aakara up to here we saw in the last class now i will continue now the next subject is going to come like this of these four consciousnesses which one has got rc that we have to see that is going to talk now the possibility to form the rs rc reflected consciousness can be formed what are the possibilities one is mind number one is mind if mind is there reflected consciousness can be formed and second possibility is to form that um, vritti possibility to form the reflected consciousness is um, vritti the thought if the thought is there reflected consciousness can be formed either mind or reflected or thought these two are the possibilities where the reflected consciousness can be formed so this reflected consciousness is uh, there in pramatra chaitanyam the reflected consciousness along with oc oc is all pervading nityam always there but this rc is available where pramatra chaitanyam is a mixture of oc rc then pramana chaitanyam is also a mixture of oc and rc and prama chaitanyam is also a mixture of oc and rc when it comes to prameya chaitanyam in that prameya chaitanyam also when you perceive the pot it is a mixture of rc and oc when you perceive suppose i am not showing you the pot you are not perceiving the pot i am also not perceiving the pot there there is no rc so unperceived pot there is no rc that means any unperceived non perceived or when you don't perceive that object only oc will be there but there is no rc so the rc is possible in all the four in prameya chaitanyam when you look at that object only rc can be formed if you don't look at that object rc cannot be formed so this is uh, the one important point we have to note then the second point is uh, for generating prama the important instrument is uh, pramanam for generating prama valid knowledge the important instrument is pramanam so therefore from a definition is pramana janya prama since pramanam is very very important to generate prama so prama is a mixture prama is a mixture mixture of what and what विषयाकार वृत्ति विषयाकार वृत्ति मीन घटाकार वृत्ति प्लस वृत्ति प्रतिबिंबित आर वृत्ति अवच्छिन्न चैतन्यम वृत्ति अवच्छिन्न प्रतिबिंब चैतन्यम दिस टू आर देयर इन प्रमा इन एवरी नॉलेज एवरी नॉलेज इन एवरी वैलिड नॉलेज there is a mixture two components are there one component is that vishaya aakaram the shape of that object vishaya aakara vritti the thought takes the form of that object whatever light object fan object pot object any object then vritti avachinna pratibimba chaitanyam 
the reflected consciousness enclosed in the thought. These two are the components are there, only Prama will happen. So the Prama is a mixture. Now later further he says, which part of Prama? Which part of Prama is, um, which part of Prama is by uh, Jnana Utpatti take place because of which part of uh, Prama? In two parts are there, two components are there. So Jnana Utpatti is equal to Vritti Utpatti. Jnana Utpatti means what? Knowledge generated means uh, Vritti generated. See, part knowledge when you say, part thought is generated. Correct? Part knowledge I have got. What do you mean by part knowledge? Jnana Utpatti. Ghatta Jnana Utpatti has taken place in your mind. What it? What it is? Nothing but Vritti. Vritti Utpatti. Jnana Utpatti is equal to Vritti. Vritti means thought Utpatti. Ghatakara Vritti. This is Ghatakara Vritti. We are going to take Dashtanta later. That's why Drishtanta I am showing so many times. Ghatakara Vritti is a Jnana Vritti. I know the part. Just to make a statement. I know the part. What do you mean by I know the part? It is nothing but a thought. Part thought has generated in the mind. That is called Jnana Vritti. Part knowledge you have got. Part knowledge is equal to Part knowledge is equal to part thought generation. That is the idea presented here in the following portion I will read. Tatra Chaitanyasya Swarupataha Nityatvad Na Indriya Janya Sambham Indriya Janyatva Sambhavaha Atascha Prama Chaitanyam Prati Indriyasya Edyapi Sadhanatvam Na Yujjata Eva Tathapi Tatha Api Upacha Upacharena Indriyasya Prama Sadhanatva Vyavaharaha Tathahi Upadhi Sunya Chaitanya Prama Vyavahara Bhavad Vishayakara Vrutyupahita Chaitanya Eva Tad Vyavahara Cha Chaitanya Prama Shabda Vrutta Pramashabda Pravrittau Vishayakara Vrittehe Rupa Vrittehe Upadhitvat Tasyaha Vrittehe Indriya Janyatva Indriya Janyatvat Tadrisha Vrittyopahita Pramam Pramam Pratim Api Indriyasya Sadhanatva Vyavaharaha Ithameva Indriyam Prama Sadhanamiti Vyavakriyate Up to here I will explain first. <coughs> here he want to say Prama Sadhanam. What is the means of valid knowledge? Prama, valid knowledge. Sadhanam means Upakarana. What is that? Prama sadhanamiti vyavahriyate. What is that? Tatra. With regard to this Prama, valid knowledge. Chaitanyasya swarupataha. Nityatvat. OC is always there. Chaitanyasya means OC. Is always there. Swarupataha nityatvat. It is. Basically, that is called Samanya Chaitanya. Samanya Chaitanya is always available. So, two Chaitanyams we have to remember. Last class I said, Bhitti, um, Praka Bhitti Suryaha and Pratibimba Suryaha. 
like that here also two chaitanyams ataha cha prama chaitanyam prati indriyasya yadyapi sadhanatvam na yujyata eva prama chaitanyam that consciousness associated with pramana prama chaitanyam means also being consciousness enclosed in the vishayakara vritti prama chaitanyam is always associated with one object or other that is called valid knowledge of what so and so that is why we call it as vishayakara vritti there is also rc must be uh, there rc necessarily be there therefore he says indriyasya yadyapi sadhanatvam so that indriyam antakaranam is also a type of indriyam vritti na yujyata eva it is not there because chaitanyam is always available tatha api vishayakarena indriyasya so that vishayakara it takes the vritti antakarana vritti takes the um, shape of that object indriyasya prama sadhana vyavahara we consider it as even though indriyam is not directly involved sense organs are not directly involved through the sense organ it comes prama sadhana tva vyavahara we use this sense organs as sadhana eyes are sadhana ears are sadhana we use really speaking eyes are seeing means through the eyes thought is only like a beam of light it is traveling but we take eyes are as sadhana eyes are as sadhana means of knowledge we take prama sadhanatva vyavaharah is there tathahi upadhi shunya chaitanye really speaking chaitanyam doesn't have any upadhi prama vyavahara abhavat so the knowledge pure consciousness cannot have any vyavahara any vyavahara of what valid knowledge prama vyavaharah prama vyavahara means uh, an interaction vyavahara means here uh, pot knowledge pen knowledge like that prama vyavahara abhavah where in pure consciousness original consciousness why upadhi shunyam because originally consciousness doesn't have any upadhi that enclosed consciousness alone has got upadhi चैतन्य प्रमा व्यवहार अभावात् विषयाकार वृत्ति उपहित चैतन्य एव यू सी दैट दैट चैतन्यम व्हिच हैज गॉट विषयाकार वृत्ति प्योर कॉन्शियसनेस कैन नॉट हैव एनी विषय आकार बट द रिफ्लेक्टेड कॉन्शियसनेस व्हेन ओरिजिनल कॉन्शियसनेस इज फॉर्मड इन द वृत्ति विषयाकार वृत्ति द थॉट pot thought vishaya aakara vishaya means here pot aakara means shape vrittehi vishaya aakara vrittehi upadhitvad so here the chaitanyam rc getting the upadhi pot is the upadhi so this upadhi is there therefore this rc which is pervading vishaya aakara vritti because in vritti is pramanam in that pramanam also chaitanyam is pramana chaitanyam has become prama chaitanyam vritti upahita chaitanyam vritti avachinna chaitanyam get gatha avachinna chaitanyam gets gatha akara vritti that is called prama akara ha prama vishayakara vritti upahita chaitanye eva that vyavahara cha that vyavahara is possible so vishayakara vritti reach there there is chaitanyam in that object it is prameya chaitanyam 
So that Chaitanyam, because Chaitanyam is all pervading. What is Prameyam? So this is called Prameya Chaitanyam. You see three Chaitanyams we have got now. Vritti, Vritti, Avachinna Chaitanyam, Pramana Chaitanyam. When it uh, gets the, we get the knowledge of the part, it is called Prama Chaitanya. Because in that Prama, there is Chaitanyam. Now that uh, already existing Chaitanyam in the pot is called Prameya Chaitanyam. Pot is called Prameya. Therefore, Upadhi, uh, here it says Tathahi, Upadhi Shunya Chaitanya Prama Vyavahara Abhavat Vishayakara Vritti Upahita Chaitanya Eva Tad Vyavahara Cha Chaitanya Prama Shabda Pravrittau So in that Chaitanya Prama Chaitanya is there consciousness Consciousness is there in that Prama Chaitanya So Pramana Chaitanya Original Consciousness enclosed in Vritti, there is, that is, therefore it is Pramana Chaitanyam. So that Pramana Chaitanyam, then Prameya Chaitanyam in the inert object, this is inert object, enclosed consciousness is there in inert object. So one consciousness is definite, that is uh, um, all pervading consciousness, that is difference. If I am not seeing that uh, part, uh, RC cannot form. That is, uh, Chaitanya Pramashabda Pravrittav Vishayakara Vrittehe Upadhi Tvad So it is having Upadhi. Vishayakara Vrittehe Upadhi Tvad Tasyaha Vrittehe Indriya Janya Tvad So that Vritti is generated by Indriyam, Indriyam, the sense organ, Tadrisha, Vritya, Vritya Upahita Pramam, Prati, Api Indriyasya Sadhanatva Vyavahara. Since uh, that Indriyam is also is known as Sadhanam. See, Vritti alone is Pramanam Sadhanam, exactly. But Indriyam is also involved. Through the eyes only it is pervading, Indriyam also gets the status of sadhanam. Vyavahara is there. Iti evam Indriyam prama sadhanam iti vyavahriyate. So Indriya is also, we use it as a sadhanam. But really speaking, what is the main instrument of pramana? Vritti alone is the chaitanya. Just eyes see, they won't get what knowledge. Through the eyes, that prama, vritti, pramanam, vritti has to travel through the eyes. So, eyes are only dwarams. Nana, chidra, katodara, sthitya, maha, like that. Eyes are only a, um, you can, dwaram like entries, where that thought goes out. Through them, thought goes out. But eyes are also considered as uh, sadhanam iti vyavakriyate. Na antakarana parinamaha sarve api pramatve na vyavakriyante kintu sariram tastham antakaranam visherupa ghatadi desha paryantam dirghi bhava patti rupam Parinamam prapnoti sa parinamaha eva pari pramanamit yuchate. Eyes are called sadhanam, but really speaking, what is pramanam? So, what is pramanam? He is giving, clarifying. Na antakarana parinamaha sarve api pramatvena vevakriyante. So, antakkarana parinamaha, all the modifications which are taking place in the mind, antakkaranam, sarve api, all of them, pramatvena na vyavakriyante. You cannot consider them as valid knowledge. All 
modifications in the antakkaranam you cannot call them as right knowledge valid knowledge pramatvena as valid knowledge you cannot consider them as valid knowledge kintu but sharir antakkaranam sharirantastha antakkaranam that antakkaranam which is in the body ವಿಷಯ ರೂಪ ಘಟಾದಿ ದೇಶ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ಸಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಥಾಟ್ ಪರ್ವೇಡ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿಷಯ ರೂಪ ಘಟಾದಿ ಸೊ ಘಟ ಇಸ್ ಎ ವಿಷಯ 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 ರೂಪ ಘಟ ಆದಿ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ಎನಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ದೇಶ ನೌ ಯು ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ದೇಶ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ what is in my hand that is the place desha paryantam now there is a distance between my eyes and the pot so the thought vritti ghata vritti has to pervade through my eyes and to that place it has to go desha paryantam up to that place it has to travel that is called dirghi bhava vritti roopam so my thought has become as though elongated stretched like an elastic you stretch like this no here vritti is there part vritti is there so it has to travel 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 like a beam of light dirghi bhava means it goes elongated vritti roopam parinamam prapnoti that is called real parinama any prama it requires that pramana vritti has to pervade the object dirghi bhava parinamam prapnoti sa parinamaha eva that modification that parinama alone is called prama na antakarana that's why he said na antakarana parinamaha sarvi api there are thoughts in the mind antakaranam so many are there going on and on so many thoughts are coming inside can you call all of them are prama all of them are right knowledge or valid knowledge so many thoughts are there no they are not called as valid knowledge when they get uh, contact with the object and that vritti has to be modified into pot thought pot thought by it envelops the pot alone the ghatakara vritti until that time it is only a vritti without seeing the pot it cannot become a ghatakara vritti so many thoughts are coming in you have to get a specific knowledge a specific knowledge of a specific object comes only that specific thought pervades that object that is the idea but words are some kind of jugglery but simple thing only like that he says antakarana parinamaha sarve api pramatvena na vyavakhriyante parantu sharira antastha antakaranam ವಿಷಯಾಕಾರ ವಿಷಯ ರೂಪ ಘಟಾದಿ ದೇಶ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ಅಂಟಿಲ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಗೋಸ್ ದೀರ್ಘಿ ಭಾವ ಭಾವಾಪತ್ತಿ ರೂಪಂ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಚ್ಡ್ ಪರಿಣಾಮ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ನೋತಿ ಇಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಘಟಾಕಾರ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಸ ಪರಿಣಾಮ ದಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಡಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಎಲೋನ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಉಚ್ಯತೆ ದೆನ್ ಓನ್ ಎಲೋನ್ ದಟ್ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಜನ್ಯಾ ಪ್ರಮ ಸೊ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಪ್ರಮ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಕಮ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಮ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಹುಚ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಕಾಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ knowledge of that object that is the idea now he consolidate in this paragraph vishayehi sah militasya antakaranasya vishaya samana samanakaro yah 
परिणाम तस्य प्रमयति व्यपदेश शरीरात सारी शरीरात स्थित अंतकरण देश आरभ्य घटादि विषय देश पर्यत दीर्घीभूत अंतकरण से पिणाम प्रमूपता धत्ते तस्मा प्रमाया प्रमाण अंतकृत्ते न अधिको भेद अस्ति विषय सह वित् आबजेक्ट्स मिलित अंतकरण से अंतकरण मीन्स वृत्ति यू कैन टेक अंतकरण मीन्स मैंड मैंड इज मीन ए थॉट वेर इट द थॉट अरेज सो द थॉट एंड विषय सह इट हेज टू कॉन्टैक्ट विद दट आबजेक्ट विषय मीन्स आबजेक्ट मिलित मीन्स इट गेट कॉन्टैक्ट अंतकरण से मिलित अंतकरण से विषय सह एन अंतकरण दट वृत्ति Associated with the object, विषय सामन आकार इट गेट्स द सेम आकार ऑफ दट आबजेक्ट सेम आकार शेप ऑफ दट आबजेक्ट यहाम दट ईज विषय घट पिणा घटाकार वृत्ति इज ए पिणाम इट ईज ए शेप द वृत्ति गेट्स द शेप ऑफ दट पार्ट दट ईज द मीनिंग विषय सामन आकार य Just like water doesn't have a shape. When you pour a water in the bucket, it gets the shape of that bucket. If you pour the water in the pot, that water gets the shape of that pot. Whatever size the vessel shape you pour the water, water gets that shape. Similarly, here vritti is like a water. Okay. and when vritti is associated with whatever object that vritti gets that shape that vritti gets that shape even agni also like that only even kathopanishad yamadharma raja says when that fire catch the door that uh, fire gets the shape of that door whatever object it is burning the fire gets the shape of that object like that your vritti doesn't have its own shape thought doesn't have its own shape every thought gets the shape of that object okay that is the idea vishaya samana akara so vritti pervades the pot only same pot thought should come it should not clip the clip shape okay सामन आकार मीन सेम पॉट शेप यट मॉडिफिकेशन तस्य प्रमा इति व्यपदेश दट ईज कॉल प्रमा पॉट नॉलेज इफ यू गेट क्लिप थॉट क्लिप नॉलेज इफ यू गेट पेन थॉट इफ यू लुक एट द पेन पेन नॉलेज इफ यू लुक एट द बुक बुक थॉट बुक नॉलेज लाइक दैट व्यपदेश इट इज सेट एज शरीर अंत स्थित अंतकरण देश आरभ्य वेर फ्रॉम दिस् थॉट प्रमाण स्टार्ट्स न इट स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम द अंतकरण वेर इज दिस् अंतकरण शरीर स्थित इट ईज सिटिंग इन द्रॉस बॉडी अंतकरण कम्स एंड सटिल बॉडी अंतकरण एलोन कैनाट फंक्षन विथट ग्रॉस बॉडी दट ईज वै यूज यूजिंग द वर्ड शरीर अंत विदिन द ग्रॉस बॉडी स्थित अंतकरण दट हुच ईज रिसडिंग इन द ग्रॉस बॉडी अंतकरण दट मैंड फ्रम दैट प्लेस देश आरभ्य फ्रम दैट प्लेस घटादि विषय देश पर्यत it goes until that wherever object whatever object you see, have to see it goes up to that extent it, it is nearby or far away it goes within the range of your eyes ghatadi vishaya desha paryantam you can understand simple ghatadi adipadat 
any object. Vishaya desha, that Vishaya desha means that place where that Vishaya is there. Paryantam, up to that. Dirghi bhuta, bhutasya antakkaranasya parinamaha. It is elongated, stretched up to that object, then it gets the parinama modification, diff, no, change, it changes. The vritti gets changed into that object, therefore ghatakara vritti, pustaka akara vritti, pen akara vritti, whatever object that akara vritti. Dirghi bhutasya antakkaranasya parinamaha brahma rupatam dhatte. Then it takes the uh, status of brahma, valid knowledge. What knowledge? If it is what? If it is pen, pen knowledge. If it is a book, book knowledge. Every time, morning to till night, until our sleep, we are getting this knowledge. But none of us know, without studying Shastra, how this knowledge is taking place, we do not know. After studying only, we come to know there is as antakkaranam in the body, in that antakkaranam thought arises, that thought goes out, that thought pervades the object, that uh, uh, pervaded thought gets the shape of that object, then that object, uh, when I look at it, I will get that knowledge. Only Vedantic student knows. Everybody is interacting with the world, they get knowledge of that so-so object. But none of them knows how this mechanism is happening. You, the Vichara Sagara students alone can know how it is happening. Correct? So it is your privilege now, great privilege of studying Shastra. Parinamaha Pramarupatam Dhatte. It takes the status of Prama. Knowledge. Valid knowledge. Tasmat Pramayaha Pramana Rupa Antakarana Vritte Heche Na Adhikaha Bhedaha Asti. Therefore, there is no much difference between Pramayaha. Pramanasya antakkarana vrittehe. So the pramana, pramana rupa antakkarana vrittehe. So the vritti which has got the name as pramanam. Vritti vritti antakkarana vritti. So antakkarana vritti gets the status of pramanam. Pramayaha. Pramayaha. So the pramana, the vritti which has arisen in the antakkaranam gets the pramanam status. As long as there is prama, knowledge, valid knowledge, pramaya, pramana janya prama, otherwise prama is not relevant. How you have got valid knowledge? Because of pramanam. That is why Pramana Janya Prama. That is why he says Pramaya. Of that Prama, any valid knowledge, Pramana Rupa Antakarana Vritti, there is no much difference between both of them because they are very close, intimate. That Vritti has become that object, and you got that knowledge, and there is no much difference. So, uh, Nichala Dasa is consolidating in this uh, next paragraph also, then only he goes to the next uh, topic. Now, I will read that uh, next paragraph. That is, Vritti um, Vyapti Phala Vyapti. Now, the Ashtanta is going to come. Anena <coughs> Kramena Bahya Padartha Nam Pratyaksha Gyanot Patti Dashayam Antakarna Vritti Bahir Nirgatye Vishayi Bhuta Ghatadi Samana Karatam Dhatte Shiriranta Shiriranta Stha Atmanaham Pratyaksha Kali 
ಸ್ತು ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ವೃತ್ತಿರ್ಬಹಿರ್ನಿರ್ಗಮನ ವಿನಾ ಶರೀರ ಅಂತ ಆತ್ಮಕಾರತಾಂ ಧತ್ತೆ ತಯ ಆತ್ಮಕಾರಯ ವೃತ್ಯ ಆತ್ಮಶ್ರಿತಮಾವರಣ ನಿವರ್ತ್ಯತೆ ಆತ್ಮ ಸ್ವಸ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಾಶೇನ ವೃತ್ತೌ ಪ್ರಕಾಶತೆ ಅನೇನೈವ ನಿಮಿತ್ತೆ ನಿಮಿತ್ತೇನ ಆತ್ಮ ವೃತ್ತೆ ವಿಷಯ ಇತ್ಯುಚ್ಯತೆ ವೃತ್ತಿಸ್ಥ ಚಿದಾಭಾಸೂಪ ಫಲಸ್ಯ ಫಲಸ್ಯ ತು ಆತ್ಮ ನ ವಿಷಯೋ ವಿಷಯ ಭವತಿ ವರ್ಣಿತೇನ ಪ್ರಕಾರೇಣ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿರೂಪ ಆತ್ಮ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಪ್ರಕಾಶರೂಪ ಭಾತೀತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧತಿ this topic we have already seen um previously but he is again revising that vritti vyapti and phala vyapti i'll give you the gist of this paragraph then you understand this is vritti vyapti phala vyapti i mentioned many times phala means rc rc in the mind is called phala here very very unique meaning it is ಆರ್ಸಿ ಇಂದ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫಲಂ ಸೊ ಆರ್ಸಿ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ದಟ್ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಹುಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಇಸ್ ದ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ನಾಟ್ ಕಾಳ್ ಫಲಂ ಬಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಳ್ ಫಲಂ ದಟ್ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರಮ ಪ್ರಮಾವೃತ್ತಿ is alone called phalam so reflected consciousness in the vishayakara vritti in the prama vritti is called phala vyapti this is the role of uh, uh, vritti vyapti and phala vyapti he is presenting what is the role of vritti vyapti and phala vyapti ಸೊ ವೃತ್ತಿ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತಿ ರಿಮೂವ್ಸ್ ದ ಕನ್ಸೀಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆವರಣ ನಿವೃತ್ತಿ ಡನ್ ಬೈ ವೃತ್ತಿ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತಿ ಸೊ ಯುವರ್ ವೃತ್ತಿ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಥಾಟ್ ಪರ್ವೇಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ವೃತ್ತಿ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತಿ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಸ್ ಇಟ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ಸ್ ದ ಇಗ್ನೋರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪಾಟ್ ರಿಮೂವಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಆವರಣ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಜಾಬ್ ಆಫ್ ವೃತ್ತಿ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತಿ ಪರ್ವೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಾಟ್ ದ ಜಾಬ್ ಈಸ್ ಡನ್ ಬೈ ದ ಥಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ removal of uh, ajnanam of that part drishtanta then phalavyapti is the revealer of that object phalavyapti is the revealer of the object vritti vyapti is the remover of that concealment these two sentences you remember vritti vyapti removes the avaranam of that object and phala vyapti reveals the object correct so it is called thula vidya and mula vidya thula vidya means this is already seen the subject but however much you listen it is ever new <laughs> okay thula vidya is the avaranam covering the anatma thula vidya thula vidya thula bharam we use no thula that thula thula vidya is the avaranam covering the anatma avidya means ajnanam that which covers therefore thula vidya thula vidya we should not take thula plus avidya thula vidya that which covers the anatma is called thula vidya so thula vidya envelops the anatma envelops the anatma here what is anatma inert object inert object suppose i do not know the pot it is called thula vidya then what is mula vidya mula vidya is that which envelops the atma which covers the atma which conceals the atma is called mula vidya mula vidya e envelops the atma now the job of phala vyapti vritti vyapti only removes the 
Avarana. Whereas Phalavyapti, the Chidabhasa is there being bright, it reveals the object. When the Vritti goes and pervades, along with that Chidabhasa is there, that Chidabhasa reveals the object. Okay? Thus, uh, Vritti Vyapti removes Avaranam Phala Vyapti, reveals the object. So, Tula Vidya, Mula Vidya. Tula Vidya covers the Anatma, non-self objects. Mula Vidya covers the Atma. Okay? Now, with regard to Atma, he is explaining. Anena Kramena, in this manner, in this manner, Bahya Padarthanam, external objects, Pratyaksha Jnana Utpatti. Jnana is of two types, direct knowledge and indirect knowledge. Direct knowledge and indirect knowledge. Here Nishchaladasa says that thought, Vritti Vyapti and RC, that is Phala Vyapti. RC means Phalam, I said. So, Vritti Pradivimba Chaitanyam is called Phala Vyapti. This uh, Vritti Vyapti and Phala Vyapti, uh, it um, cannot generate uh, Chaitanyam na Utpannam. Vishaya Vritti alone is Utpannam. Vishaya Vritti alone Utpannam. Chaitanyam is already there. It is, need not be generated. Wherever, um, whenever we say Jnana Utpatti, it is only Vritti Utpatti, I said. Therefore, he says this Phala Vyapti is not required with regard to Atma. That he is going to say. With regard to Anatma objects, Vritti Vyapti is required, Phala Vyapti is required because Pati is not self-effulgent. It is inert. Therefore, it requires Phala Vyapti also and Vritti Vyapti also with regard to Anatma objects. So, here um, Vritti Vyapti, Phala Vyapti, Phalam reveals what? Phalam reveals the object. So, RC in the mind will be called as Phalam. RC in the Pramana Vritti will not be called as Prama, Prama, Phalam, but uh, only Prama Vritti is called Phalam. This RC in the Vishayakara Vritti, in the Prama Vritti is called Phalam Vyapti. And we saw this in Panchadashi also. And what are the rules of Vritti Vyapti, Phalam Vyapti, in Avarana Remover and um, Jnana, Revealer of the Object. That is the idea. Here. A little bit difficult only to grasp, I know, but uh, once you receive second time again when you revise, you will get clarity. So, thus Vritti Vyapti removes the Avaranam, Phala Vyapti reveals the object. Now come to the Atma, with regard to Atma. Before going to read, uh, see into that paragraph, I will uh, independently give how Aham Brahmasmi Vinanam take place here. Now, uh, Nishala Dasa says in the case of Atma, when we talk Atma Gnanam, we have to make uh, uh, a note here in our mind. What is that? In the case of Atma Gnanam, the process is similar. Similar process in the case of Atma Jnanam also. Similar to what? Kata Jnanam, Pata Jnanam. Process is same, but there is a difference. What is that difference? Na? We are going to see now. So, the student is the Pramata. Now, you are all sitting, listening to me. You all want to, I am telling you Tattvamasi, the word I am using, Mahavakya. So, that Mahavakya is Pramanam. While talking about the example, Pramana Vritti, Ghata Vritti, I said, Ghata Akara Vritti, it gets. So, like that, remember the example, now we have to supply to Dashtanta. The student is the Pramata who wants to know Atma, who wants to get Atma Jnana. 
are who wants atma jnana you all of you want atma jnana therefore you are called pramada correct then second one is what pramana the same what we saw in drishtanta same thing we are going to see here just i introduce those two words pramana means the guru's mahavakya guru is telling tatvamasi mahavakya then third point is what is prameyam here atma the sakshi chaitanyam is the object of uh, um, which i want to know sakshi chaitanyam is the object which pramatha wants to know or the student wants to know therefore all these three are together in vedanta class you the pramatha and uh, the guru's vakyam mahavakyam tatvamasi and uh, that sakshi chaitanyam the object as it were object which you want to know prameyam the prameyam is sakshi chaitanyam okay now we will see that how this aham brahmasmi gnanam takes place in the next class Om Purnamad Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vasishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Gurubhyo Namaha Hari Om